Hi guys, Jeremy from thecustomgeek.com here, and I want to talk to you today about DorkBot PDX service. So this is an iPod charger, which I did a post about, not going to talk about it, but it's on PrefBoard. So the next step to go from here is to get a board made. So here I have a board, and this is the board I have made, and I want to show you um, a few of these boards with some different projects I'm working on. The projects necessarily aren't done yet, but I want to show you the boards and the quality of these things. Um, I can't recommend the service enough. Uh, it's a very, very good service. Here's the board. Here's the board populated. And I did a post about this, too. Um, you haven't seen this yet. This is an SMD version of that with an LDO and a barrel jack. So it's basically the same iPod charger uh, that just takes, you know, 6 to 12 volts or a little bit higher if you can, if you want a little bit of heat there. But uh, this charges. But again, uh, just modified this design. $5 later, I have... Uh, a very nice uh, PCB board. Um, this allows you to, uh, it's neat to get your stuff made in a, in a PCB board because it's permanent and stuff like uh, this guy here because this guy I could obviously do here. But this gets a little bit more complicated and I wouldn't want to do an LED matrix on a perf board because that requires a lot of patience. I'm not sure that I have that much patience. But if you get it made on um, a board, you have a very nice, very nice, very nice uh, end product, and it's a lot less frustrating and time-consuming. And then there's things like some SMD stuff I'm getting into that you couldn't even do this on a perf board. I mean, it would be virtually impossible to have this, um, you know, this this kind of 603 stuff on a perf board and have it that neat and presentable and this small without... Um, Going criminally insane or something like that. So, uh, and the same thing with like uh, TQFP packages. Um, uh, here's a 328 breakout that I had. Um, boards are pretty. Really like the boards. wasn't sure about purple when I first saw it, but I got my first boards in, and I was like, oh, okay, that's totally fine. So, really like the color actually. And um, you get silk screen on both sides, solder mask on both sides. Uh, the quality of the boards are good. I abused uh, one of them with a soldering iron to see what it would do and uh, it behaved pretty well. Um, there's another little board, these little AT tiny boards and uh, again you can see them. The text gets a little bit small um, on here so I wouldn't rec I would recommend using um, I wrote it on the back here actually printed uh, I think it's higher than 14. I'll, I'll put it in the video because I'm not sure. I apologize for not knowing on the top of my head. I'm looking this, at this through a camera so I can't really see it uh, with my bare eye here. So there's these boards here. And then another cool thing about getting little boards made is um, I wanted to use an accelerometer in a little project I'm working on. Quite small. And so uh, I spent a, you know an hour and a half in Eagle making a custom part for it and got all the measurements right and figuring out how to do that. So then I put it on a board and I make a little breakout board and now uh, two weeks later, I have a breakout board for this accelerometer. So now, I have a something that I was not able to do before. This is LGA. Uh, now I can just put this in a breadboard, and uh, it works fantastic. So now I can play with this and see how it works, so I can plan to implement this in uh, the final project without uh, ordering the final project first. I can just get this little breakout board. So $5 a square inch, and you get three copies of the board. So... To do a recap here, um, this these little AT tiny boards with a, um, with some stuff on them, these guys cost me two fifty for that which you see right there. So I got six of them for five dollars, um, which is ridiculously cheap if you don't know. Uh, it was fantastic. So I got six of these guys for five dollars. So for the price uh, less than a value meal, you can get some really good circuit boards made. So I encourage you uh, to take your projects. To the next level, uh, get some custom PCBs made, support open source hardware, and uh, it's just a lot of fun uh, to get these guys in the mail because uh, it's really, really fun. And one last thing I want to show you is when you get your boards, uh, they're panelized, and so you might have the, these little guys on them uh, right here, these little nubs, or you might have a, just a little bit of rough edges, just a little bit of sandpaper, a really light, emphasized light on the Dremel will take that off, and it'll be, uh, it'll be smooth as anything. I spend about I mean, less than a minute, and just, just do that on all these boards, and it cleans them up really nice. But that's what you, um, you can expect when you get your boards, and uh, 
Again, I can't say thank you enough to Lean for his service, and I'll see you guys later.